Hey all, welcome to Bar and the Stairs, the show about home bartending. I'm Alex, and today we are talking about my favorite tequila cocktail, La Paloma. Delgado Corona, owner of La Capilla Bar in Tequila, Mexico, is credited with inventing La Paloma. It was originally a drink made with tequila, fresh lime juice, and Coke but that was eventually swapped out for squirt grapefruit soda. So if you wanna make a classic Paloma, start with just a couple simple ingredients. First up, we're gonna need some fresh lime juice. So you need a half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, two ounces of Blanco tequila. Give that a quick shake with an ice cube. And then we're gonna top that up with four ounces of grapefruit soda. We're gonna use Haritos today. Add the Haritos directly to the tin. Shakes up the drink a little bit for you. Directly open pouring it into a glass. Garnish with a little grapefruit flag. This drink is easy to make, it's quick and it's delicious, but I think we can do one a little bit better and kind of modernize the drink. And to do that, we're gonna add in fresh grapefruit juice and we're also gonna make our own grapefruit syrup. So the grapefruit syrup is going to be easy enough. All you need is one grapefruit and one lime. We're going to zest it and juice it. Measure out your juice and then add an equal amount of sugar to the juice. Put that in a saucepan with the zest. Bring it up to a simmer and let it go for 10 minutes. Once it's done, strain out all of your zest and put it in a bottle and you're good to go. A pinch of kosher salt. We're gonna add a half an ounce of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Half an ounce of fresh lime juice. And three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit syrup. Half an ounce of Aperol. Aperol, if you are not familiar, is a bitter sweet Italian liqueur. It's made with apricot and grapefruit. It's very citrusy and bright. So it goes really well with all the flavors in a Paloma. Two ounces of Reposado tequila. I am going with Casadores Reposado and give it a quick shake. of sparkling water directly into the tin. Look at that beautiful grapefruit looking color. Just gonna take a back of the spoon, smash our cubes. Quick little stir. Finish it up by garnishing it with a nice big peel of fresh grapefruit. Give it a nice little gentle pinch along the top to express all the beautiful grapefruit oil in there. All right, so let's give these two drinks a taste. Let's start with the classic version. Tart, really bubbly and effervescent. The tequila flavor comes through like nice and bright. You don't get a lot of grapefruit there, but it is kind of nice and citrusy and sweet. The grapefruit flavor is really kind of like sharp and it comes right in there, and kind of punches you in the face. Then you get this nice kind of bitter nose from the grapefruit and from the Aperol. The tequila flavor comes through really nicely. You get some of those kind of woody notes out of the Reposado tequila. It's really bright, really fresh. It's a lot more complex, I would say. This one's easy to do at home, takes you almost no time at all. This one, 10, 15 extra minutes of your time and you get a really outstanding cocktail as well. Mm -hmm.